The Geranium and Other Stories, by Flannery O'Connor is a collection that delves into the complexities of human nature, southern life, and the themes of grace and redemption. O'Connor's stories, marked by their stark realism and often grotesque characters, are deeply rooted in her southern Catholic background, which influences her exploration of moral and spiritual dilemmas. The stories in this collection, including the titular, The Geranium, reflect O'Connor's preoccupation with the clash between the Old and the New South, as well as the often painful process of spiritual awakening. The collection opens with The Geranium, a story about an old man named Dudley who has moved from his southern home to live with his daughter in a northern city. The story revolves around Dudley's disorientation and alienation in the new environment, symbolized by his fixation on a geranium plant that his daughter keeps on the windowsill. The geranium, which once thrived on the porch of his southern home, withers in the urban environment, mirroring Dudley's own sense of displacement. Through Dudley's interactions with his daughter and neighbors, O'Connor explores themes of racism, nostalgia, and the inevitable changes brought by time. Dudley's inability to adapt to his new surroundings and his clinging to the past reflect the broader tensions in the South during the period of integration and social change. Another significant story in the collection is, A Good Man is Hard to Find, which exemplifies O'Connor's use of the grotesque to reveal deeper truths about human nature. The story follows a family's road trip that ends in tragedy when they encounter an escaped convict known as the misfit. The grandmother, who is the central character, is a figure of self-righteousness and shallow morality. Her encounter with the misfit forces a moment of grace, though it comes too late to save her or her family. The story is a meditation on the nature of goodness and the possibility of redemption, even in the face of evil. O'Connor's portrayal of the grandmother's final moments, where she reaches out to the misfit with a gesture of compassion, underscores her belief in the potential for grace in the most unlikely circumstances. O'Connor's stories are often populated by characters who are physically or spiritually flawed, reflecting her view of humanity's fallen state. In The Life You Save May Be Your Own, for example, the central character, Mr. Shiftlet, is a drifter who manipulates a disabled woman and her mother for his own gain. The story explores themes of corruption, redemption, and the search for meaning in a world that seems devoid of it. Mr. Shiflet's ultimate abandonment of the disabled woman he marries is a stark commentary on the emptiness of his soul and the futility of his quest for salvation without genuine repentance. O'Connor's use of violence and shocking events in her stories is not merely for dramatic effect but serves as a means of revealing the spiritual crises of her characters. In Everything That Rises Must Converge, a story about a young man named Julian and his relationship with his mother, the tension between the Old and New South is brought to a head in a violent encounter on a bus. Julian's disdain for his mother's outdated views on race leads to a confrontation that ultimately exposes his own hypocrisy and spiritual emptiness. The story, like many others in the collection, ends on a note of ambiguity, leaving the reader to ponder the fate of its characters and the moral lessons they impart. The Geranium and Other Stories is a powerful exploration of the human condition, marked by O'Connor's sharp wit, keen observations, and deep spiritual insight. Through her flawed and often grotesque characters, she delves into the complexities of faith, morality, and the possibility of redemption in a fallen world. The stories challenge readers to confront uncomfortable truths about themselves and the society they live in, making the collection a timeless work of literary and spiritual significance.